Hello and welcome to On The Curbs. I'm your host, Team Alvis Daily. Joining me this week is Czech hill climb racer Teresa Makova. We caught up recently to discuss how she got into this form of motorsport, how the acceleration in those insane looking cars feels like, how 2022 is going for her so far, and plenty more. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into it, and I hope you enjoy our conversation. Hi, Teresa. Thank you for being here today. First of all, how are you? Hey, I am fine, really. And uh, next week we have another races, so I'm really looking for forward to end. Perfect. I'm fine. <laughs> not, not, too, not too long a summer break for you, then can get straight back to it. <laughs> First question I'd like to ask everyone that I talk to, what first got you interested in motorsport? Um, when I was a child, uh, my dad is uh, in cars too, so uh, we watch races and uh, like um, car races and motorbike races. And, uh, and then when I was about 10 years old, my uh, dad started to uh, compete with uh, in hell club racing. <laughs> and uh, so... Uh, it affects me uh, the most, I think. Um, I really love it. And so what is it about hill climbing racing specifically that you love so much? Mm, there are uh, really special cars, really light and fast. And uh, mm. you can drive here, uh, for example, with formula uh, between the trees. So it's uh, really fun and adre- adrenaline. <laughs> it's... Uh, I think it's uh, really different than uh, the circuit, and it's uh, there are narrow and uh, uh, like smooth roads, so you can be here with really uh, like uh, I don't know how to say. <laughs> it's, it's a bit like having a Formula um, car on a rally yeah. circuit in some yeah, ways yeah. because they look so unique in like you say the lighting of the thing they look like they belong on a track but they're on the road so it's that kind of that blend between formula and rally yeah and you mentioned your dad just now and he built your first race car the, the star i think if i'm pronouncing it correctly s double z a um how much did that car mean to you oh uh it's mean for me too much. I, I love this car, <laughs> and uh, I was crying <laughs> when my dad saw it. Uh, but uh, it was time to move on, and uh, uh, Souza uh, ended up uh, in really uh, good hands. Uh, the Popovs, uh, <laughs> uh, they have it. Uh, Eliška Popova is uh, racing with this car to date, and uh, there are really great people and. Uh, so it's uh, like uh, the car was still in the family. So I'm it's, glad uh, it didn't get retired and went off into a garage somewhere. It got it's still being used, so that's mm-hmm. nice. Yeah, but it was really no. It is really a good car, and I love it. Mm-hmm. Maybe one day you'll get you'll get another girl in it. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> so then you've got a new car now. Tell us all about it. Norma is perfect. It's really fast. It's a monopost, not formula. It's a little bit uh, wider and uh, um, it does about 280 horsepower and uh, 565 kilos. So uh, it's really fast. <laughs> yeah, really quick. And uh, it uh, it's really different than uh, other cars uh, because uh, it works with uh, downforce, uh, mm-hmm. so uh, it's pretty different. Uh, and uh, your head is uh, out, <laughs> so uh, it's. Uh, What's the acceleration like when you tried that for the first time? Was it were you kind of prepared for it, or did it take you by surprise? Yeah, the uh, first time uh, I was uh, driving it, uh, I uh, my uh, helm, <laughs> it uh, was a little bit uh, bigger than it uh, should be. And <laughs> it like uh, my head is uh, <laughs> go, uh, go up and it, <laughs> really, it was really uh, it was like weird. Like a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
but it, it's uh, it's perfect. Uh, it really, it's it's function really well, and uh, uh, it's really about setting up this car. Um, if you change something, uh, you you notice uh, like uh, every small change. Mm, and for hill climb racing in particular, you need to make sure you get that that setup right because it could make a lot of yeah. difference. Because like yeah. I was saying before, yeah. a little bit, it's like having a Formula car ish on a rally circuit. But you want to make sure that with the downforce in particular, if you're going around these tight corners up through the hill, then uh, that everything everything works as perfectly as it can. You finished in third place in the race at the Autodrome of Brno last year. Um, how did that? How did that feel? Ah, uh, fine, but uh, it could be better. Definitely <laughs> uh, it a racing was, driver. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was the first uh, race uh, in this year in uh, uh, Czech um, Hell Climb Championships, uh, and uh, the weather here. Um, there was uh, temperature uh, below zero in the morning, so uh, uh, the terms. Mm, were not uh, optimal, uh, but uh, really interesting experience. And uh, I have uh, not too much uh, experiences uh, on circuit uh, than other racers. Uh, so uh, I don't, I can't uh, too much uh, use uh, full wise of the track. Uh, so. Uh, Third isn't was, bad uh, though. If, if you're saying all these things and you're not like perfect at it, it's your first time third is pretty good, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it is, but uh, I'm a little bit maybe critical. Uh, but uh, uh, I lose to my uh, rivals uh, on the circuit more than on the uh, uh, hills. So uh, Thanks for the hills, it's then. not my discipline. <laughs> yeah. So how has the rest of 2022 gone for you so far? And do you have any plans for the rest of the year? Uh, so in this year, uh, there was a lot of changes. Uh, uh, it's uh, the first year uh, when I am uh, racing uh, with Norma full, full uh, Czech uh, championships. And uh, I have for the first time a European license. Uh, so. I uh, really want to go uh, on September uh, to Croatia uh, and uh, to the racing. And um, also uh, I uh, change uh, uh, department in the work. Uh, so it's it was a little bit new for me and uh, I finished my master degree. So I hope uh, this uh, day uh, I will have a much more uh, time. What did you study? Yeah, uh, I study uh, economics, uh, like uh, finance uh, in Prague. And so the, so the sponsorship for the racing should be easy for you. You know how to do all of that then? Uh, not really, but uh, sometimes, um, maybe later, I hope it uh, will be better. Mm. So and, Croatia is the next thing for you then? Uh, no, uh, next uh, races are in uh, Lunchcrown in Czech uh, next week, uh, weekend. Uh, uh, it's my favorite uh, track and uh, it's pretty close uh, to us, about uh, uh, 70 kilometers uh, from, from my town. So it's like uh, home. <laughs> and uh, then, then we really want to go to Croatia, but uh, there is a little bit problem with uh, uh, pneum pneumatics. Uh, it's uh, really uh, this year like off uh, this, so we hope. It, uh, hmm. Fingers uh, crossed for the race that's coming up first then have a bit of uh, your home race maybe as such, and hopefully that counts as a bit of an advantage for you. So you've done the hill racing, the hill climb racing. You've done some racing on track. Are there any other types of motorsport that you would like to try in the future? Uh, I want to try everything, of course. Uh, but at first, uh, I want to uh, race, compete uh, in uh, European uh, Highcom Championships. And uh, 
maybe in the future i really want to try uh rally uh but uh, at first as a co-driver with mm. my dad uh, and uh, maybe it's for me a uh, a little bit uh, uh i have uh, i have to worry about the person next to me uh so uh, i think it uh, would be impact to me so uh, it uh, it's very different when you're not the person with the steering wheel in front of you and you just have to very much trust the other person. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, well, maybe sometime, someday I want to try. So if you've got a, a favourite race that you've done so far then? Uh, maybe Lanskrum or, or Ustecka uh, 21. Uh, the, uh, in, in I'm glad Ustia, you pronounced that in <laughs> <laughs> it's in Czech, so <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite track. Oh, so what, I was going to say, um, why, why is that one your favorite, or which race have you competed in that was your favorite? Uh, it, uh, it's my favorite because uh, it's a technical track, uh, not too much fast, uh, and uh, it's also uh, really close to... Um, our our home and uh, uh, there are lots of people uh, that support you and uh, it's really fun and uh, later I really want to uh, go to Trento Bondone but uh, uh, you know uh, you have to um, have for this uh, race a uh, special uh, panel and uh, etc so it's not uh, uh, to maybe uh, next year, yeah, <laughs> maybe. So, we can find. so, what's been your biggest challenge to overcome in motorsport so far? Mm, my biggest challenge, uh, is uh, maybe the first place in Stamberg uh, with uh, Suzuki Swift and uh, maybe some uh, like. Uh, record hunting uh, I uh, I have broke a uh, record uh, of Edita Spraškova in uh, Ustecka 21 so it's pretty big challenge for me and uh, I want to have later some better times of course so always uh, chasing that perfect time. yeah so a couple of fun questions to finish off then do you have a favorite film? It's difficult questions. <laughs> I love uh, <laughs> films. And uh, maybe uh, the Shawshank Redemption or uh, the game The Thing. Uh, I also uh, love uh, the old uh, Le Mans, uh, but uh, there are very different films there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Catch me, me if you like. It's really nice. Mm. I like those three. They wouldn't, uh... <laughs> and then, final question Would you prefer living in the winter for a year or have like a really hot summer climate for a year? Mm. Uh, I really love uh, winter sports like uh, skiing, cross country, skiing, skiing etc. But uh, I'm still cold, so I prefer a really hot summer because one year is uh, quite long uh, uh, term. So that makes sense. <laughs> well, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you today, and I want to wish you the best of luck with your race this weekend coming up, and for Croatia, fingers crossed for that as well. And yeah, best of and for the rest of the year. Thank you very much. You too. Thank you. Thanks again to Teresa for coming onto the curve with me, and I want to wish her the best of luck for the rest of 2022 and beyond. Join me again soon when I'll be chatting to another famous face from the world of motorsport. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the other interviews on the On the Curbs YouTube channel. If you want to hear more from me, you can listen to me chat about F1, amongst other things, over on the Undercut podcast, and you can also hear me dissecting everything Nitro RX related, including chatting with special guests, over on the Nitro RX podcast. 
Both podcasts are available here on YouTube, as well as over on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever else you like to listen. You can also follow me over on Instagram at t.alpers.daily.onthecurbs and read my various motorboard articles over on Is It Fast and Paddock Sorority. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you again next week for the next episode.